Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another uh, classic toys, awesome collection video, toys of the 1970s. Uh, today we're going to look at a big bridge for 12-inch figures uh, made over in England for uh, Action Man. And it's a Sherelia brand. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Let's see here. I've got that uh, crossing guard turned around the other way so we could read it. Because otherwise it looks like that plane. There's this one. I've got the instructions. There it is there. 48 inches. I think it was centimeters for 12 inch figures. Includes ramps, supports, lifting batteries, dynamite, detonator, and cable. Figures and vehicles not included. So they make it a lot bigger looking in the artwork there. There's the guy uh, putting on some, the detonator. So, Shirelia, made, they made some uh, different vehicles like armored cars and uh, a, a Viper tank that they're showing there over an action man in the 70s for... Uh, G.I. Joe size figures so they're they weren't officially officially licensed that's why they're not mentioning Action Man for over there or referencing G.I. Joe or any of the other names they use Action Team I believe they used in Germany and Group Action Joe was the name in France for G.I. Joe you got it in uh, English German and French language there's nothing on the back, and then the box just has a divider in it. So it's a pretty good size bridge for a, a vehicle, but it's not that wide. So it's not in scale for a large vehicle. So that Viper tank would just barely fit on there, going up, on, and off. Here's the little uh, dynamite piece they gave. And here's the little plunger. And I've got one of my... Uh, G.I. Joe Marines out as a, a size reference. You have to put this bridge together with all these parts and it's not easy to do. And it, it's, it's fairly sturdy to hold up things, but the way it attaches is, isn't that great. So it's made out of the same, it's like I, we used to use the word styrene plastic, like a model that you'd build plastic, not a soft plastic, not a plastic like this, which is kind of soft. And the shoe, the boot. Uh, let's take a look at this marine. Nice painted here with uh, black. This one is a, one of their reproductions that they did later on, Hasbro. So this isn't one from the 60s. This one is from either the late 90s or early 2000s, probably. It's pretty nice. Uh, so there he is next to the ridge. When he's right there, <coughs> you can see it's not very tall, but they couldn't make it much bigger, I guess, for a toy. Because that's what it was. It was not supposed to be a scale model for a diorama, but... You can have a diorama set up with uh, G.I. Joe's. I finally got the table set up. This is a 4x8 board. And this one is uh, for outside brown with a little bit of green to add terrain to it. And here's the adjoining board. Same size, 4x8. And... Uh, on the other side of one of these is the white board for uh, winter. And then this is the other side is the gray board for city. And when I want to have a big setup, then I have to add uh, different things to match the colorings. Because I don't have enough space to have uh, two sets of 4 by 4s for each color. So I just add stuff on the other side when I'm... Um, going to set up a, a game or something. 
You could actually use this in for other scales as a span for a vehicle that could just fit on this side. Here it's supposed to fit, you know, a wheel or a track one side and then on the other side. So it's kind of a neat, neat item. Not that uh, easy to find nowadays. They didn't make many of them. And I don't know how many kids had them or saved the, the box that they were in. So it's kind of a, a neat idea. And it's made fairly nice, fairly clean. And like I said, it kind of bridges that, <laughs> bridges that gap between a, uh, a model type quality and then just the uh, plastic like that viper tank that they, they showing there uh, that was like a blow molded softer plastic vehicle so this was nice this is the harder stuff uh, the gates go up and down the... stop <laughs> All right, so that was set up something different from my collection set up. In the future, I have now the the larger area that I can set up things. So we'll see what is coming along in more uh, my awesome collection. And this was Classic Toys, Classic Toys of the 1970s. Until next time, thanks for watching, everybody.